Looking to multi-stream to both Twitch and TikTok at the same time, but don't know how? Well guys, keep watching because I'm about to show you a free and easy method that doesn't require a TikTok stream key. Now I'm sure many of you have heard of TikTok Live Studio and I'm pretty sure you've got it downloaded already. But if you haven't, then please pause the video, go to the description below and download TikTok Live Studio because you're going to need it. So now we've downloaded TikTok Live Studio and we've got it installed, all you need to do now is make sure you're running the latest and greatest version of OBS. Currently, I'm running version 29.1.3 and if you want to stream vertically to TikTok and horizontal to Twitch, you are going to need to install Atium's Vertical Scene plugin. To download the latest version, just head to the website and download it there. Link is in the description below. So the method I'm about to show you right now will enable you to stream to Twitch and TikTok at the same time, horizontally, in a native Twitch format. To be honest with you, it's a real 50-50 split right now. I see a lot of horizontal streams, I see a lot of vertical streams. It really just depends what you need, what type of content you're putting out, uh, what type of game you're playing. Uh, really, if you need the audience to see your full screen, you'll need to stream horizontally. But if you don't mind them just seeing the centre of the screen, say you're playing like GTA RP or you're playing Warzone or something, and you don't mind them just seeing the gun or your character on the screen, and you don't really need them seeing the left hand side of the screen or what's happening off to the right hand side of the screen, then vertical streaming is for you. But if you do need that, then horizontal streaming is going to be the way you want to go. Right guys, I'm going to show you how to set a virtual camera up in OBS. So all we need to do, head to the control section of your OBS. You'll see a start virtual camera section. Press the cog wheel. Just match these settings exactly. So output type should be internal. Output selection should be program output default. Press OK and that is you done. Now what you can do is, you can hit the start virtual camera button and that will start a virtual camera in the background. You won't really see anything happening in OBS, you'll just see this button turn blue, but there is things happening. And that's all we need to do for OBS right now. So guys, once you've got your virtual cam set up in OBS and have it running, what you want to do is, you want to come over to TikTok Live Studio, select the landscape mode, so it's a horizontal canvas, add source, and what you want to do is, you want to select camera. Now it's important it's a camera selection, that you select and not a video source because OBS is actually made a virtual camera so what we do is we click add so once you add the source it will pop up it will say add camera, it will pop up the settings natively you'll have your actual webcam selected as the first selection but what you want to do is you want to press a little drop down box and as you can see here OBS virtual camera now as long as you have OBS virtual camera running in the background in OBS you've started it as you can see here already you can see the selection, it's just mirroring everything that's happening in OBS right now into TikTok Live Studio through this source. Now you can obviously select different options here, but all I do is add source, put it up beside, and I basically just stretch it to fit. It's full 1080 anyway, so we're good to go. Lock the source, and that's you. Everything that happens in OBS happens in TikTok Live Studio. It's an exact mirror of your TikTok Live Studio. So for instance, if I was to change the scene in OBS, like I'm doing right now, it changes it in TikTok Live Studio because it is, it's an exact mirror of OBS and it's all through that one scene. So as you can see, it's literally using like 1% CPU, hardly any resources. So like I mentioned, everything will be uh, mirrored through your OBS. Change scenes, any channel point redemptions will just mirror here on the TikTok Live Studio. Uh, any like follows etc uh, if I just check my recent events uh, we just Bingo, refresh this Bingo, one there we go uh, we Corey in there but the sub thank you very much Corey as you can see it just replays here in TikTok Live Studio but one thing to note is TikTok Live Studio alerts will not come through OBS so you do need to add them on a separate source so for instance alerts just add an alert source customize this your liking it's just whatever whatever you like i'll just add that and i'll add like a goal source uh which i usually have as well just have it up in the corner here i know it's looking very messy right now but just to show you an example uh one rule that i will say is obviously the more sources you add to tiktok live studio the more resource hungry it's going to be as you can see kind of spiked up a wee bit there it's using a wee bit more memory and stuff so the golden rule that I've got is don't use any more than three sources. Have your camera source, it's OBS, right here. Have an alert source so you can hear your TikTok alerts. 
because they will come through separate. And if you want, you can have a goal source or a leaderboard source or something like that. But don't have any more than three sources, especially if your PC is not too great, because you are running OBS at the same time and you're running all your sources over in OBS. So you don't want TikTok Live Studio being too resource hungry. This is the only way to keep the resource that TikTok Live Studio uses down. Right guys, so now that's all set up, you're pretty much ready to go. All you need to do is head to this little section here, Audio Mixer, click on that. Make sure that TikTok Live Studio is using your proper microphone and is using your proper audio source. I use a GoXLR. Uh, whatever you use, just make sure these are your defaults for sound and also for capturing uh, your microphone. Once that's done, just go up here, put in your live info, put a wee title, choose a topic, uh, whatever your topic might be, obviously mine's is gaming, uh, the last game I streamed was GTA 5, so you set that and pretty much just hit the go live button and you're good, that's your live on TikTok, hit the start streaming button on OBS and that's your live to, to Twitch at the same time. So a quick tip here guys is, obviously you've got OBS open, you've got TikTok Live Studio opened, you probably maybe have a browser opened, you'll maybe have a Spotify opened, you maybe have like things like Streamerbot, etc. So you're going to have a lot opened at your screen at the same time. You're going to be trying to watch your Twitch chat, but also you're going to be trying to watch your TikTok chat. That's going to be hard having the two apps open at the same time. I've got three monitors and I can't even do it. So the less monitors you have, the even harder it's going to be. So a quick tip here is, I just pop out the TikTok live chat and then I just minimize TikTok uh, studio and I just put the, the live chat right next to my Twitch chat, so as I can see both at the same time, and that's the easiest way to do it. Now if horizontal streaming isn't what you're looking for and you're looking to stream to Twitch horizontally in its native format, but stream to TikTok vertically, then this part of the tutorial is for you. So to be honest, to go live vertically on TikTok, there's not much we need to do different. All we need to do is make sure OBS is updated to the latest version, and you have the Atium vertical plugin installed, and the latest version of that also. Like I said guys, the link is in the description below if you need it. So once it's installed and you've got it set up as you want it to look, as you can see here guys, I've got a TikTok section right here and I've just set up my stuff here, my webcam, uh, the logo and the desktop, the display capture and the game capture. So it's set up just how I want it to look. Now as you can see here at the bottom, there's a little box with a camera on it, a little yellow box. And that section is the vertical virtual camera. So for this, to go live vertically on TikTok, we don't use the virtual camera down here in the control section. We actually use it up here in the Atium vertical plugin. So if we just click start the virtual camera, that will start the vertical virtual camera and we can head on over to TikTok Live Studio. Right guys, so now we're in the TikTok Live Studio app and what we want to do is we want to add another camera source like we did with the horizontal scene. So we click on add camera source, we go to OBS virtual camera. And as we can see guys, because we have the virtual camera running on OBS uh, on the vertical scene, uh, it's came up with the vertical plugin. So everything the vertical plugin sees OB, uh, in OBS, TikTok Live Studio will see. So again guys, if you change in the OBS virtual scene, I don't really have a lot of scenes set up in here, so it will uh, just change. And I'm pretty sure I do have my alerts set up. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, let me just double check. Pretty sure I do though. Bingo, just press bingo, that. Uh, I don't actually have my alerts set up because I quickly set it up, but it would pop up your alerts, whatever you set up in OBS, it will pop up here in TikTok Live Studio. Again, you won't hear TikTok Live alerts, so you are going to need to add them on a separate source. You can just add this, uh, just get it how you want to look. Obviously, the virtual scene, you do have a preview restriction, so this is where chat and stuff will go, so you can't put anything below this or above this line up here, so you're going to need to try and cram it in your scene here. Uh, I'm just going to make it, it's just going to look messy guys because I, I wouldn't really use this. It's just to give you an idea of uh, some of the stuff you could do. Uh, there you go guys, we'll add a wee goal section. And again, like I said, it wouldn't look like this, this is just to give you an idea of how it would look. But use the three source rule. Don't use any more than three sources guys because it will just start using a crap ton of resources. Like I said, you're going to have your game running. You're going to have OBS running, you're going to have TikTok Live Studio running, you're probably going to have Streamerbot running, maybe Spotify, etc. So you don't want TikTok Live Studio using too many resources, and this is the way to keep that down. So once that's happened, like the virtual, uh, sorry, the horizontal scene, uh, you check, make sure your audio scene, uh, sources are how they should be, default. 
Uh, and then you just make sure you set your, obviously, your stream title, choose your, your category, and uh, hit the go live. Pop out the chat, put it next to your Twitch chat, minimize TikTok live studio. Now you're live on TikTok uh, vertically, and you're also live on Twitch, and it's native horizontal format. And that's it, guys. That's how easy it is. But unfortunately, that's the only method we have right now. Because if you live outside the USA, TikTok don't give you your stream key. So it's really the only resource friendly and free way to actually stream to TikTok and Twitch at the same time. That's it for this video guys. If you did enjoy the video and it did help you out and you did manage to get on Twitch and TikTok at the same time, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, I'm going for the goal of 1k here on YouTube. Hopefully we're going to get a few other tutorials bashed out, uh, stream related, tutorial related stuff that I've came across. Plug in stuff that I use for my stream, uh, things to stream about, to other interactive stuff. Uh, also, guys, if you wouldn't mind, you maybe follow over on Twitch and TikTok. I'll try to grow the TikTok to 4K, and I'll try to grow the Twitch to a, a thousand as well. Uh, it's all goals a bit here, ladies and gentlemen. So, if you can as well, go ahead and give us a wee follow over there. Smash the thumbs up here, ding dong the bell, and uh, thank you very much, guys. Leave a wee comment below. Let me know what kind of tutorial you'd like to see. Uh, maybe there's a plugin that you've seen uh, and you wonder how to use it. Smash it in the comments below and I'll get a tutorial made on it. Thank you very much, guys. See you in the next one.